Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another install of a of this, which is a Bio Bidet Discovery DLS Bidet Toilet Seat. Now, I did one of these back with the Bio Bidet, bidet BB2000. Uh, back in 2020, during the toilet paper scare, I was able to purchase one of those, get a hold of them, and do my install video on that, and then eventually my review video. And I've loved that seat. My whole family has. So... Here we are, two and a half years later, give or take, maybe a little more than that, um, since we actually did the last toilet seat install. And this is the Discovery DLS, which is the next model up in their lineup. <sighs> I'm super excited. So let's tear into this box and get installing this bed. Okay, so here we are. Now I would say, would like to say real quick that I actually learned about this. You got to see it at CES this year. I was talking with Bio Bidet, uh, or Bemis or Bio Bidet about it. And they're allowing me to do this video with them. So they sent me this, uh, full disclosure. But that doesn't mean that I'm not just as excited because I really am. Uh, and to be honest, we were lucky at getting a second seat anyway. Another, bio, like probably another B, uh, BB2000 possibly, unless until I saw this seat. Um, so tested, and that's the thing is a lot of these things, they actually test these before they ship them. So we have Discovery DLS, a little sheet here. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. Um, looks like a plate, probably a guide to show exactly where to mount the pieces. Uh, so you line them up properly. So you don't have to undo it and reline it up. It's, it's probably not super important, but at the same time, it probably makes it nice. All right, let's see here. So in here we've got remote. I'll set that off to the side as well. Should come with everything. So the nice thing about these bio, these seats is that, um, that's one of the hoses, is that you don't have to be a plumber to install them because it's just removing some things at your toilet and then uh, putting these up. So there's another uh, water line there. Depending on your water line, you may need uh, a gasket or a, an adapter or something, but um, you know, I can't remember my last one. Parts box, batteries for the remote, such like that. This is gonna be the actual piece that mounts on the toilet that it's gonna snap into. I believe that's what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the power cord through this box. There we go. And looks like that's all the stuff that's in the box. So let me get this stuff out of the way real quick. Now the seat itself, I'm, we're gonna just set it off to the side. We're, I'm not gonna undo that until we actually get upstairs and start installing. Um, but I did wanna go through a couple of these real quick, specifically what's, this should be the, all the instructions and everything. Let's see how it comes. So five year coverage warranty card. I don't know if you can read that right there. Review and win, win a luxury shower head. Look at that, two winners every month, that's kinda cool. So review it, and uh, you could possibly be a person that wins one of those. Uh, it's interesting because I'm looking for a new shower head. Uh, owner's manual. So this is going to give the guide of how to st how to set it up. And essentially, here's the big thing about. Oh, look at this. You even have a laminated use guide um, that you might want to put off to the side for guests uh, that use your your toilet. That uh, especially people that you hey, you should try out the bidet but seat. To be honest, most people that actually try it love it. Um, I did want to take a peek at the remote real quick as well, because this is something that's substantially different than the remote that I have um, for my, my, my BB2000. So this is like a serious, a serious remote. So there's a little guy, uh, guy here, you can pick it up, you can do whatever. But there's stuff on both sides. That's crazy. So. On the one side, on the front side, we have stop, front, rear, dryer, auto. Okay, auto. I wonder how that's going to work. On the top, we have open lid, uh, closed lid, open, closed seat. Um, so obviously, if you're taking number one and you're a guy, you might have, need to use that one. And then on the back side of the remote, we actually have water pressure increase, decrease, water nozzle forward or backwards for adjusting that. Nozzle clean, dynamic stream, night light, seat temp, water temp, air temp. Things that you can adjust there. Interesting. And then, of course, batteries. Uh, oh, cool. Interesting. Two doors. Okay. Bat two AAA batteries. They come with in the packet over here. 
but that's what we're going to have here put going on there they do give you double-sided tape because i am actually going to be uh putting this not on a wall but on tile um so on my other bio bidet i actually have put the double-sided tape as well so and they do give you the screws in case you do have drywall or something that you want to actually attach it to i'll be using the double-sided tape in my installation so that's fyi then we have our not our hoses which we will use and then the small accessory bag here the battery we have this is our our tap our t-tap um, essentially your water line currently if you have standard toilet no bidet seat water comes out goes right into the um, tank right um, well we got to tap off that water line so rather than it get it just going straight into the tank we're going to tap off it so it goes yes still goes to the tank but then we're going to be able to feed off of it for the seat water and then the seat itself actually has its own water heater um, so it'll heat that water up so you don't have to worry about having uh warm or, or cold water it's it's going to be cold water is that a toilet um, looks like an, a, a, a gasket or adapter right there. So in case, depending on how big your threading is, we have a couple, looks like um, self-expanding toilet seat taps. So you don't have to have the, the nut on the bottom side. That's going to be interesting to see how those go. And that's pretty much it. Um, last thing, like I said, this, this guide, attach, this is for attaching the rubber anchors, which are what attach this guy essentially so you can see there's these two pieces here they're going to go in this and they're going to slide and then these rubber gaskets go through that and then you once they're through the hole in your seat then you can actually adjust this forward and backward right and you'll see that once we actually get upstairs and start working on it but that's essentially what that's going to go and this is your guide essentially to line up where that's going to go because that'll tell you uh, essentially line this up for, with the front of the of the toilet so we'll see how this actually works and see if that that layout works all right i guess move everything upstairs we'll we'll start installing now we are gonna i am gonna uninstall the other toilet real quick and i'll do that on camera might as well um i'll just speed through it right now um so we'll go upstairs i'll remove my existing toilet seat my uh my other bio bidet actually and get it ready for the full install of this. So I'm gonna remove all the accessories for my current seat uh, because I'm gonna move that down to my lower toilet in my, in my downstairs. So here we go. Okay, now we're in our echoey bathroom. Um, and you can see here's my BB2000 that I've been using for the last, like I said, roughly two and a half years. And remote that's currently just adhesive to this wall because it is tile. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this removed real quick. We're gonna fast forward through that. Before I fast forward, I'm going to turn the water off because I'm going to be taking hoses off. So that's one thing that you'll have to do before you start installing yours anyway. So that first step, turn off the water, and then you might want to have a small bucket handy to uh, capture any water that's going to come out of the line. Now, one thing I am doing right now is I am draining the tank up here as much as I possibly can um, because I'm about to release the water when I undo the water line. Almost no water. Fantastic. May need a wrench for that guy. So that's the bad thing about my specific install is it's really tight. One other tool you'll probably need is a crescent wrench or some kind of uh, wrench to undo the threading down below. Okay, everything's off. Everything's ready for the next step. Okay, so let's go over the brand new. So I am, well, let, me, let me show you that real quick. So here we are, we have no lines at all. I have, uh, you know, the water line that connects to the bottom of the toilet right here, supply line down there, and then uh, everything else comes with, you know, you remove all that and you put all brand new on. So I'll show you that brand new stuff here now. Okay, so first one is this three quarter inch line, or I think, I think it's three, ah, whatever it is. This is gonna go from the stub down below up towards the tank. But rather than going directly into the tank, it's gonna go into this. This is the T adapter, right, that we're gonna pull off of, right? So now we're just coming from the, our water supply 
up, and then this is gonna go straight into the tank. So we can actually put this on the tank first and then put this on after. After that, you have the other water hose that came with your system. And this is gonna basically come off this T-tap here, right? And this is now gonna go to your seat. So you're gonna wanna have this pointing in a direction that makes the most sense. Uh, you may have to kind of do a little bit of a twirl to kind of eat up any of the extra line. If you really needed to, you could replace this with a shoulder line if you found out it was too big, but they're gonna give you one of each that should work in almost all scenarios. So I'm gonna put this on quick, then I'm gonna put this in, and then I'll stub this on. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'll kind of fast forward here. The other thing you might notice is all of these have rubber gaskets. So you're not needing to do like uh, PTFE threading or anything like that, unless you really want to. This one is my least favorite one, the one that's coming out of the water supply line because the length is just not quite perfect. Never is. Now, and with the wrench, I'm not cranking it, I'm just snugging it up. It's just a lot easier to grab onto. So now I have this nice water line that's coming off that'll, uh, depending on how, we might, I might move this around a little bit, but now we're ready for uh, getting the seat lined up. So this is what we were talking about with this um, template, essentially. So you can kind of see there is a little bend over here, um, which is where the nozzle edge is. And I think that's what we're supposed to do is try to get it so the nozzle edge is right like that. I think that's how it's supposed to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy here and it should be with that little plate forward. And then we take these little metal clips here. They go side to side. I don't need the batteries, what am I doing with those? Um, and then actually, before I put those clips in, take these bolts out of the rubber gasket. I think the rubber gasket goes in first, like that. Boom. Then this, then this with the washer. Okay, I'm making sense. Stick this guy down in. Boy, that makes that a lot easier than putting a nut from below. Okay, so I'm just going to get it snug for now, um, just to Phillips. Actually, I wonder if it should have been... That looks to me like the washer actually goes underneath. Okay. So in between the two, I wonder if that's how it's supposed to go like that. So, and just get these snug. So there we go. Snug. Just a little bit, not a loose, all right. Now we can grab this guy, put him on here, and slide this to where it matches what we're, what we're wanting. Now to side to side, we're gonna wanna get that as equal as can. Now we can always come back and adjust this. Same thing goes if you don't crank this tight, super tight. It's a lot, it's fairly easy to adjust as well. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this into place. So you can see this is where that bracket back there actually goes into. So this is gonna, the bracket's gonna slide into here and then that little latch actually kind of goes in here and then locks into place. This little button here on the side is what actually releases it so you can pull it back off, just like the other one if you have actually watch when I remove the other one. So you can see where the water line connects here on the side. Um, you can actually point this down or back or whatever works. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the seat in, slide it into place. Oh, so you can see I actually could bring it forward a little bit. We, could, we can bring it forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and release it. That release button should be on this, that's on this side now. No, nope, it's on this side still. There it is. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this this bracket forward a little bit. I'm gonna go and I can. You're always gonna come back here when you're done and tighten this up so it, it can't move. But I'm gonna tighten it up just a little more. 
put it. All right, so now I'm sitting pretty close. Now every seat's gonna be a little different how it's designed and how it's gonna fit different toilets. But that, I think about it. Let's see about getting the water line connected. So here's where our little guy is and there is a nice little cover for it. And then we have our water line coming in, which you're gonna have to figure out exactly how you want everything to, to orient here. Uh, I think I'm going to actually have it come down rather than out and go ahead and connect this up. Screw it into place. Now the big thing is now that we have everything connected, everything powered up, or not powered up yet, but everything's connected for water, we're going to want to inspect for leaks. That means turning the water line on. I like to turn it on slowly and then just look for leaks. Uh, give it a few minutes. Okay. And I do have a small leak. Okay, so I'm gonna show you down here what it looks like. So you can see we have the T there, everything's there, nothing, no, nothing's leaking now. I actually had to pull that one back off because the rubber gasket just wasn't flat. So that's why it was leaking. So pulled it off, flattened the rubber gasket down in there again, and then just put it back on. So quick and easy, and now we're about full. Now it's time to get it powered up. So I have my power cord. I have a hole in the side of my cabinet because I actually ran a uh, electrical outlet under my cabinet here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in under here. And there's the noises we're going to get. Oh! One thing I did notice, and I'll show you that right now. In shipping, this little piece here broke off which is essentially the holder for the door. It goes right here. So this is gonna look a little weird because we don't have a door, but uh, I do have an email out to uh, BioBidet, and I'm assuming they're gonna remedy that pretty fast. The dryer door is also, probably should be just be pulled off because it's gonna fall off anyway, and I don't want it going into the toilet. So if you noticed before, I had my remote above my toilet paper, which I still have to do yet here. And that's mount this guy for the remote holder. Now I do have that double-sided tape. So this is the back side of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this double-sided tape. I don't know if it goes on anywhere specific because it has this little cutout. Eh, whatever, I'm gonna put it on real quick. Okay, so I have this guy. Go ahead and peel off this and put it like there I guess see how well this double sided tape works I have better stuff maybe that I keep on hand we'll see how well this holds otherwise I could also always just mount it above it now on the remote I'm going to slide this guy off Open this door here, put in the double A or the triple A's, sorry. And you can see it just closing the lid. Open lid. Open closed seat. And I wonder if, if I just hit close lid, will it close both? And now we know about that double sided tape. All right, some better tape time. All right, let's see, I'm gonna put it up a little higher too. I'm gonna put it up here. This stuff I put on my motorcycle to hold cameras in place, so I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but it is something that does come off fairly simply. I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. And there's the seat. And then if we hit the close lid button, should close one, then the other. It is interesting to have the toilet open up automatically for you. That is kind of crazy. So I can walk in front of it. And then it opens up. Pretty crazy. Okay, well, I am going to do what I did last time. And that is get a towel out and actually get on this bad boy. All right, so I'm sitting on this guy. I'm going to hit the rear wash button. 
The seat's warm, I'll give you that. Oh, that's warm. That is really warm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so on here, oh, that's cold. So they have, if there's no light on, then there's gr blue, which I'm assuming is warmer. Okay, that's warm. Gosh, this is a lot faster warming up, that's for sure, than the other one. Uh, and then I can go pink color, you can see there in the middle. It's, a, it's actually a pink, warmer yet. And then red, which is hot. I'm gonna go blue, which is a nice temperature. Seat temp, I'm gonna turn that off because we rarely use it, but uh, if I do it, I'm gonna put it on blue as well. It doesn't need to be this warm. Air temperature's for the heater, so you can see the air temperature there. Um, haven't done that yet. This is not crazy pressure either. Let's see with water, oh, okay. Water pressure buttons left and right. Uh, that's up one. That'll, all right. I can also move the nozzles forward and back. I'm gonna click on that. Oh yeah, she's moving. Water pressure down a little bit maybe. Dynamic stream, I'm gonna choose, so they have a couple buttons up here. Dynamic stream as well as nozzle clean. I'm gonna do that dynamic stream. Oh, 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 oh that's weird. Okay, it was, it's like hot and then cold and then hot and then cold. Okay, that is unique. I'm going to hit stop just so I can talk for a second. Now, I don't know what auto clean does. Auto. I'm just going to hit the auto button and see what it does. So it's cleaning. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let it go. I'm assuming the auto button will automatically start drying after a lot, a lot of amount of time. I haven't read up on it at all yet. So the big thing is the buttons on the back back here. The reason they're on the back is because I'm betting most of the time, once you have this set, you're not going to mess with it. So having that on the back, it's there, but they're going to make you concentrate on the buttons that are really necessary for what you're going to use it as. And I don't know how long this auto runs, whether it's two minutes or three minutes or whatever it is. I'm gonna fast forward. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it goes from washing to, to drying automatically without you manually doing it. Now air temperature, I have right now, well, I had it cooler. Up. I had, and this is on cool now, or no temperature at all, which is air temperature, right? I'm gonna put it on second, the purple, rather than hot. It actually sounds more like a vacuum cleaner than the BB2000, which didn't have as much, uh, I think, uh, drying capability. That's the other thing that this, this specific toilet has, has a, a better drying capability as well as a better uh, water jet as well and a better water heater in the water heater no doubt that is way faster and not to say the bb2000 is slow but this makes it feel slow so i don't know how long the drying temperature thing is here but i'm gonna go ahead and hit stop yeah okay there we go she takes a second so she works so in all reality, the last thing here is to just kind of solidify where you have it in place to know that it's not going to move around while you use it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up, make sure I'm happy with it. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and slide it forward and tighten those uh, bolts down. And the release is right there. And I'm going to close the lid. So you can see me back here. All I'm doing is tightening these bolts down, these fasteners down. Boy, they sound wonderful, don't they? And that's just to keep it from sliding forward or backward. And then we can slide the seat back into place.
There we go. Takes a little bit of oomph to push it back to lock in place. But there we are. Okay, well, welcome back to uh, Day of the Future. Um, I did receive a replacement for the seat I actually have had installed now for the last week or so. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to check to make sure that this one doesn't have the same issue the other one did. I would doubt it does. So this is the reason why I wanted to make sure to include this once I got the replacement on this video is this is what it's supposed to look like. And uh, that little piece that broke in shipping, you know, is what it is. All, you know, shipping is shipping and it all depends on how rough the handler was. But in this case, we have no issues. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, if there's any difference in how it operates. I don't see it but maybe how it sounds. So we'll see. Okay, so I thought I'd do this on video. I'd, I already turned my water off and then just decoupled the hose. So I just took it off. It is, there's still water in the hose because I'm not draining it. Did unplug it from the wall and just push in the button on the side to pop it off. And then I'm gonna put the other one on. Sorry, before I pulled it off, I wanted to clean this a little bit because there is always gonna be a little bit of stuff that you can't get when you clean the toilet. So I took that off real quick. Set this off to the side here. Grab the replacement. Slide this guy in place. And then I know that it's in when it clicks. Well, maybe it is. Okay, let me get this hooked back up with the uh, water line and power. Off camera, I did just replace this uh, uh, remote as well. Just basically swapped the remotes because this one is linked to this toilet already. Just uh, pulled the batteries out, swapped them, and then put it on the mount that I've already had in place, obviously. And you can see the toilet automatically opened for me because, uh, well, I got within range of it. And it seems to operate. Let's see what it sounds like, maybe. Okay, so I got this ready. And the things that I do on camera, hopefully I do them well. So I sit down and it goes through its wash cycle. It's basically washing and cleaning the spraying head so that it's not spraying you with, well, water that are with a spraying head that may have contaminants on it from a, a previous person uh, or a previous wash cycle from maybe yourself so it just cleaned itself um, and that did sound different because it wasn't as kind of all over the place not drastically different and the spray cycle itself shouldn't be any different it's definitely on the hot setting uh, I'm gonna change that temperature back to medium, same with the air and seat. We don't need seat heating right now. Seems good. Pressure could be maybe a little more. Not to repeat everything, I just wanted to at least let you hear what it sounded like now that it has the door on it. And same with the dryer, actually. The dryer now has the door as well. So I don't hear or feel any difference in the drying, but I will say that this thing, it does a lot better drying than the older, the uh, BB2000, uh, the Bliss, the other one that I have. So yeah, back to me, back to previous me. Now the last little bit here, um, there is a sensor, it even says, it has a little sticker here, you can remove that. Uh, that's the, the touch sensor that knows when you're sitting down, because if you're not sitting there, um, it won't allow you to, squirt water right it's designed so that it knows if you're sitting here or not uh, but you can take that sticker off other than that we're pretty much ready now in this case i do have a small product that was damaged in shipping um, not a biggest deal actually is not going to stop it from operating i did take off the dryer door it just slid off that way i don't lose that uh, but aside from that i will update you on what bio bidet comes back with once I get an email back. It is Sunday, so I don't expect anything back till tomorrow. And I'm gonna actually send the review out on this guy at the same time I'm launching this. So you'll be able to watch the, my full review of this 
right after this install. So I will put a link that here at the top of the description as well as at the end of the video. So you can actually head over and check that out. I will check, uh, send a link at the, at the top as well to BioBidet so you can actually take a peek at this yourself as well as anywhere that I could find where you could purchase it. Now, retail on this seat is $8.99. I saw it at $6.99 on Amazon. Um, I will put links to various locations where you can purchase it, especially if I find a good deal somewhere. Um, but other than that, so far, I'm impressed. Um, I like to give that thing a week or two to, to really see if I, I like it or as much as my BB2000, which will be going downstairs. But aside from that, not a bad seat so far. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking to the end. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We'll catch you back here on GeekSmart for another future video install. Head over to TechGooch to see some, some reviews. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.